Hi, my name is Sheila Willis of Impact Tourism, the developer of the History Check mobile app. Welcome to History Bites, your daily dose of Alberta historical trivia, brought to you in partnership with Belt Drive Betty Media and the Canadian Motorcycle Tourism Association. You can register to answer the questions for a shot to win prizes, or just take the quiz to satisfy your own brain power. Either way, we're excited to see how much of Alberta's history you really know. And yesterday's question was, who brought the first pig into the Grand Prairie region? Was it A, James Cornwall, B, Alexander Monkman, or C, Louis Callahoo? And the correct answer is A, James Cornwall. On April 15, 1921, Cornwall responded to a letter written by W.D. Albright, the manager of the experimental farm at Beaver Lodge, which I'm assuming was a request for information about the early days in the Peace River country. Cornwall says that a man named La Riviere, or La Riviere, along with Louis Hamlin, were the first transient traders in the area. It was Cornwall's impression that Hamlin planted the first potatoes around flying shot. Cornwall and Fletcher Bredon were partners in the Bredon and Cornwall trading posts. They were the first permanent free traders in the Grand Prairie region, with Alexander Monkman as their agent. From their arrival in the area, they experimented with cereals and agriculture. The first plow taken to Grand Prairie was brought in by Bredon and Cornwall. It was a second-hand plow bought at Slave Lake which was most likely now known as Gerard, whose previous name was Lester Slave Lake Settlement, and it was made out of scrap by a man named Morin or Mirin. Louis Callahoo brought in the first fanning mill as a deal with Bredon and Cornwall. They bought it in Edmonton and then Callahoo transported it for a half interest in the machine. And now for the pig. It was purchased by Cornwall from W.H. Carson of Peace River Crossing. It was a small female pig who, after about three or four weeks, gave birth to a litter of five. Alexander Monkman, who as agent would have lived, looked after this pig, had a quantity of feed, which eventually ran out. They turned the pig out with her little ones on Saskatoon Lake Island, where they lived off of roots and berries until the following fall. Now I'm sure the intent was to butcher some for winter stores, but they were so wild they could not be caught so all of their fates were sealed. They had lived off of Saskatoon berries and their fat was found to be perfectly pink in color and sweet tasting. Sorry to end that on what some might find a bit gruesome note, but it was a way of life back then and this would have been a rare oddity which was apparently worth noting. So tomorrow's question is, which Alberta town is named after the nephew of a former Governor of Paris, France. Is it A. Nanton, B. Trochu, or C. Oyen? Come back tomorrow for the answer and the story that goes along with it. Then we'll load you up with the next day's question. Enjoy!